Okay, so we're going back on this video, and I'm still doing the searching, still looking, and we essentially see nothing under there, or in there, or on the material test. Let's just verify that. Let's verify that, that it is happening. And yes, this is true. So we're going to place some copper in there. I have to get the copper. We're going to place some copper in there. Not very much. So it should detect. It's on automatic and it should detect. And indeed it does detect the copper. So we're seeing the copper as it is being detected. Now we'll, we'll slide back around and take that away. And it doesn't take much because essentially we are very close. Once again, it's a bench test, so we're doing real well. I scan like this just to make sure there's nothing in the area coming back around to kind of verify the test. Once again, it should be searching, should be finding no material found, which it does not, zero grams. That's very good. Let's, um, let's search back around here. Let's see if we can put a smaller amount of gold here. Let's try a couple of them and see if we can do that. Let's once again I try and search or basically I try and set it up so we can take and kind of verify that. You know, it's that you verify the numbers and things like that. I think that's a good thing. So we scan back around, look in the area. Okay, and we're looking and sure enough it does detect the gold. So it detects the gold. Let's take and just move back one more time. And let's try and pull this off of here. And let's try and let's try one silver coin here. Um, it should be detecting that silver coin. Let's see if we can let's see if we can do that where we can actually see the numbers on the unit here or the numbers on that silver. Once again, we scan back around, make sure there's nothing in the area. Kind of verification. And sure enough, let's see, do we see that? Yep, we'd see it on the screen. Normally, we'd have a lot of bells and whistles and things, but sometimes people don't want that. So they watch this on the screen. In fact, we're going to take those lights on top off, possibly, so people don't see that. Uh, the unit is very simple. It's got a start button. It's got red, yellow, green, red, nothing, yellow, maybe. Uh, green in the past. Uh, it gives a little uh, website there. The switch right here is very close because it's pulse wave. We do not want people messing with the switch, but it is there for a reason. Um, once again, the two other switches are on. Material detected by Super Blue. We don't even have to turn it on here because we have it set for automatic. So. It could be set for automatic with a certain switch that only you know about or you know how to operate it. Once again, what are we looking at? It's searching, it's finding... What is it finding? It is finding the silver. Well, let's just verify this one more time. I like, to, I like to try and scope it in and verify because it's important. It's important to know what you're looking at and verify. So let's just remove that. One more test. We'll scan around. And let's see if it's finding anything. Is it finding something? Sure enough, no material found. So this is a preliminary test for the small material detector. This is only a material detector. Uh, I will give a lot of information on another video about the unit and technology and things like that. So please follow up and look at the other video. Um, so what I try to do is give a nice video nice display we have units coming out that'll be with a bigger display eventually but this kind of gives us an idea and once again you can look at that unit very nice unit very nice unit easy to operate back end works um, it's uh, normally on automatically if you set a certain switch a certain way and it uh, will not drain the battery because it knows what to do so when it starts looking, there's a lot of, a lot of things in this um, unit I'm not going to talk about because they're proprietary. But it is a small Android Super Blue 
material detector, small detector. We want to thank you very much. Have a great day, William Burchard or Mr. Burchard. Thank you.